Hey guys, welcome back. So in the previous video, we took care of the standard post type and I did forget about something uh, right here below the image. Uh, you can see that we have a small gap that shouldn't be there. So quick fix for this. Setting the display to block to the actual image uh, gets rid of that additional unwanted space. Okay. Since we're at it, let's uh, style these separators right here and make some spacing. So if we look in Photoshop, we can see that we have a small you know, glow or shadow around them. Uh, and by looking at index, the HRs have a class of fancy HR. So let's go all the way up. And I'm going to say fancy char and we'll do the following. We'll begin by setting the border to none. So now they're gone. I'll set the height to one pixel and I'll give it a background. And I'll just do border color. Okay. So the next step is to give it some uh, some shadows. So I'm going to say box shadow zero zero um, about seven pixels for blur, and I'm going to do border color. Let's have a look. And I don't think yeah it is visible. It is visible, but the color of of the background is, you know, slightly overpowering. So instead of a simple border color, I'm gonna lighten it by about 10%. No, that's too much. About 5%. Okay, something like that. So now we are getting close to. Uh, to what we had in Photoshop. Now let's add some margins. Margin, I'm gonna do like 3Ms, top and bottom, zero, left and right. All right, something like that. And I think it looks pretty good. Also, uh, what about the spacing on the top here? Let's go ahead and add that. To the main article container if I can find it there it is okay so background I'll add it all the way on the top so I'm gonna say padding top 3m okay and that pushes all the content down okay perfect next let's move on to the quote uh, the quote post type quick look at the HTML okay so article uh, the header we have a span with a class of post format quote and let's go ahead and take care of that articles I'll do it right here so post format quote Remember, we need to get to get it to look like this. Yeah. So I'm gonna say float right, and I'm gonna give it some fixed width and height. Let's open up the icon. It's 42 by 42. So uh, width 42 pixels, height 42 pixels. And let's give it a background, of course, so we can see something. URL, images, quote, format, icon, oops, dot PNG. Center, center, no repeat. And there it is, perfect. Now this, um, 
this is slightly off. It doesn't align properly with, with the top link, as you can see. Bit of a gap there because the top link has a line height, yes? So this is centered to that line height. And we can just play around with, with the margin. So margin top, uh, let's do like five pixels. Let's see if that works a bit better. I think we need a bit more like 12 pixels. probably 15 okay something like that it looks pretty good all right um, next is uh, this gap here and this gap well we know where it comes from we have two large paragraphs which have a fixed line height yeah so we have this 42 pixels and we have this 42 pixels so obviously there is no title in between um, and we got to account for that so a quick solution if we go to article meta extra if we change the height to 21 then it's much better but it also changes the height here and that's not good so we can actually do this h1 plus article meta extra we'll give it a height of 21 pixels and a line height of 21 pixels uh, so let's see Oh, sorry, I got these mixed up. It's 21 here, 21 here, and 42 here. Okay, something like that, perfect. So what this does is all the article meta extra elements, or all the elements with this class followed, uh, which, uh, which follow in H1, sorry, will get these values. The rest, we'll get these values all right so one last thing to do here is the actual quote container yes and if we look at the PSD it's a very simple container solid background stroke uh, a bit of shadow so Let's see, what is this called? Quote container. So quote container, we'll do this background. Um, we'll use the bevel color as the background. We'll use the border, one pixel solid border color. And we'll also use a box shadow it's the same one we've been using so zero and zero five pixels and border color okay something like that now we'll do text align center and we'll do a top and bottom uh, margin But hmm, actually, actually, we're going to set those values, the margins or line heights to, to the elements inside. I did pause there for a second because I just realized 
uh, using using those line heights is is fine when you want to you know attend to a baseline grid but they are really useful when you have like other elements around them like images and the text wraps around the image and you know sticking to a baseline grid will create a nice flow in my case I don't have any images here so I might just get away with with setting a top and bottom margin of oh, padding, sorry. So let's go ahead and do that. Padding, uh, I'll do three M's, top and bottom, zero for sides. Actually, we'll do three M all around because if we have a very large quote, it, um, it must not reach the right and left edges. Okay. Um, inside the quote container, we have a block quote. And we'll do this font. We'll do like a 21 pixel font size. And the color, the uh, the font family, sorry, it's going to be serif font, which is Georgia. And also, we'll do color, set it to dark, and we'll do a font style italic. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Okay, pretty good. And also, we have a site there that's used for the author. So the site, the site is actually a regular, um, a regular text. It just needs uh, a bit of uh, a bit of padding on the top, right? So I'm going to do padding top, or actually margin top, uh, set that to 3Ms might be a bit too much. Yeah, it's way too much. One and a half. Okay, and that is perfect. All right. And I think we got time for one more. Let's do the URL post format since you know it's basically the same. Let's see the differences. Uh, post format URL, the span, and the URL container. Okay. So I'm actually going to copy these, paste them. Post format URL, URL container, float with height, and this is URL format icon, URL container, background, border box, shadow, text line, padding. Okay, and we have paragraphs and spans. Yes. Okay, now the paragraph. Should be 21 pixels. Okay. So paragraph font 21 pixels. Color dark color normal. And the span should have a margin top and display block. Let's see. Okay. So far so good. We just need to target that link properly. So anchor tag. Let's do it the correct way. Great. All righty. Okay, so we are done with 
uh, most of the articles. Uh, and I'm going to stop right here for uh, this video. And the next one, we'll take care of the navigation here and also the sidebar. We have not a lot of work on the sidebar, but it's really important to get these styles uh, right. So thanks for watching so far. I will see you very soon. Bye bye.